click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends we'll discuss now one question of vertical income statement and balance sheet where we have given a trial balance and two adjustments in a question this was a question asked at university examination how to solve this we'll understand let us go through the question following is the trial balance of messrs anupama limited as on 31st march 2013 sales this will be item of income statement that will be the first item sales fixed asset this will be item of balance sheet application of funds first item will be fixed asset bills receivable and bills payable this is item of balance sheet bills receivable current asset quick bills payable current liability quick cash and bank balance current asset quick opening stock this will be item of cost of goods sold income statement cogs cost of goods sold bank overdraft it's a current liability but it's a non quick current liability it's part of balance sheet purchases cost of goods sold administrative expenses operative expenses this will fall in operating expenses administration expenses legal expenses this will be operating expenses administrative expenses salaries administrative expenses advertisement selling expenses warehouse rent selling expenses this is related to storage distribution depreciation on machinery this will be part of cost of goods sold it's a factory expense interest on bank overdraft this is financial charge interest on bank overdraft financial expense equity share capital this is part of share capital shareholders fund general reserve reserves and surplus laptop repairs this is administration expense direct expenses cost of goods sold investment it will be part of asset application of funds debtors and creditors debtors current asset quick creditors current liabilities quick additional information closing stock on 31st march was valued at rupees 50000 this will be recorded in income statement cost of goods sold we we'll have to minus this second effect balance sheet it will be recorded as current asset non quick cash sales were one third of credit sales this is information relating to proportion of cash sales and credit sales you are required to prepare vertical income statement for the year ended 31st march 2013 and vertical balance sheet as on that date for financial analysis total sales here we have 20 lakhs second adjustment says cash sales were one third of credit sales it means if cash sales is x which is one third of credit sales therefore credit sales will be x multiplied by 3 that is 3x so credit sales 3x cash sales x total is 4x which is equal to sales 
which is given in the question that is 20 lakhs. We can find out value of x, x that is cash sales twenty lakhs divided by four. That is five lakhs. Means out of twenty lakhs, cash sales is five lakhs. Therefore, credit sales will be it is three x. So five lakh multiplied by three. So it will be 15 lakhs. Thus we have calculated cash sales 5 lakhs and credit sales 15 lakhs. This bifurcation will be included in income statement. Let us prepare format Messrs Anupama Limited vertical income statement for the year ending 31st March 2013. First, we are required to start with the amount of sales. Total sales, it is given 20 lakhs. We have done working note. Cash sales is 5 lakhs. Credit sales is 15 lakhs. Total sales 20 lakhs. From this, we are required to deduct cost of goods sold. Which items we are required to consider for cost of goods sold? Let us go through now. Opening stock. This is opening stock of goods. So to add purchases of goods. Depreciation on machinery, that is factory expense. Closing stock, 50,000. This we require to deduct to arrive at cost of goods sold. We have added opening stock, purchases, depreciation on machinery, direct expenses. We got 14,20,000. From this we have deducted closing stock 50,000. Finally we arrive at cost of goods sold 13,70,000. This will be deducted from sales to arrive at gross profit. So gross profit we got 6,30,000. From this we are required to deduct operating expenses. What are the operating expenses we are required to consider? administrative expenses, legal expenses, salaries, this will be part of administrative expenses, advertisement, selling expenses, warehouse rent, selling expenses, interest on bank overdraft, this will be deducted separately as an item of interest. After calculation of operating profit, this amount will be deducted. Laptop repairs, this will be part of administrative expenses. In operating expenses, first we have office and administration expenses. Under office and administrative expenses, we have considered admin expenses, legal expenses, salaries and laptop repairs. We'll be adding these items to get total administrative expenses. Total administrative expenses, 1,20,000. Next we have selling and distribution expenses. In selling and distribution expenses we have advertisement 40,000, warehouse rent 20,000. Total selling and distribution expenses 60,000. We can add now operating expenses 1,20,000 plus 60,000. Total operating expenses 1,80,000. This will be deducted from gross profit. Operating profit before interest we got 4,50,000. From this we are required to deduct interest, interest on bank overdraft 10,000. After deducting interest amount we get 4,40,000. This is operating profit after interest. To this we are required to add non-operating incomes and non-operating expenses. In this question there are no non-operating incomes, non-operating losses. So as there are no non-operating incomes and expenses, 
we get 4,40,000 as net profit before tax. In this question, they have not given provision for tax. So same figure will be net profit after tax. We have completed income statement. Let us proceed to complete balance sheet. Messrs. Anupama Limited. Vertical balance sheet as on 31st March 2013. First part of the balance sheet is sources of funds. In sources of funds, first we have shareholders fund. In shareholders fund, we have first share capital. Here we have equity share capital rupees 6 lakhs. To this we are required to add reserves and surplus. In reserves and surplus here we have general reserve one item. General reserve 1 lakh. Here we have net profit 4 lakh 40,000. This is surplus. It will be added to reserves and surplus. We can now add total reserves and surplus. It is 5 lakh 40,000. Share capital we have 6 lakhs. Reserves and surplus 5 lakh 40,000. There are no fictitious assets. So we can add now capital and reserves to arrive at shareholders fund. So it is 11 lakh 40,000. So shareholders fund. Here we have 11 lakh 40,000. To this we are required to add borrowed funds. In this question there are no borrowed funds. So we can now arrive at capital employed. So shareholders fund 11,40,000 same will be capital employed 11,40,000 as there are no borrowed funds. We have completed first part of the balance sheet that is sources of funds. Let us proceed for second part of the balance sheet that is application of funds. Second part of the balance sheet application of funds. There we have first item fixed assets. Here we have fixed assets amount is 10 lakhs. Next comes long term investments. Here we have investments 40,000. Next working capital. There we have first current assets. In current asset first we have quick current assets. What are now quick and non-quick current assets? Bills receivable 2 lakhs. Quick current asset. Cash and bank balance 50,000. Quick current asset. Daters. Quick current asset. Closing stock 50,000. Non-quick current asset. Quick current assets total 3,50,000 non quick stock 50000 if we add both we get total current asset 4 lakhs from this we are required to deduct current liabilities in current liabilities we have bills payable 1 lakh 50000 bank overdraft 1 lakh which is a non quick current liability creditors 50000 quick current liability Quick current liabilities 2 lakhs, non quick current liabilities 1 lakh. We'll add them. Total current liabilities 3 lakhs, which will be deducted from total current assets 4 lakhs. So we have 4 lakh minus 3 lakh, 1 lakh as net working capital. This will be added to the figure of fixed assets and investments. We got total assets 11 lakh 40,000. Sources of funds also we have 11,40,000. It means sources of funds are equal to application of funds. That means our balance sheet is tally. In this question, we have learned how to give effect to adjustment like closing stock number one. Number two, when income statement is prepared, we get profit figure that surplus which we are required to show in balance sheet when both the items that is vertical income statement and vertical balance sheet is asked in the question. Thanks for watching this video. Stay in tune with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel Ikeda. Thank you.